Hello. Okay. Well, good afternoon to you, you all. It's a real pleasure to be here. I want to thank the organizers um, for all the compliments and nice uh, uh, gestures they, they have been having with all uh, uh, the speakers. So, strengthening the supply chain, building relations and partnerships. Coffee business is for sure not an easy system, and that's one very important thing that we should all know. Even though it's not my intention to give a rhetoric speech, Academy categorizes it as a complex system in which many interactions and flows, like money, logisticals, uh, like forward and reverse logistics, networking, long-term relations, qualities, the sustainability of the system per se, and the livelihoods of the people depending on it must be balanced. Any decision made by a hint, by a clue, by an inkling, suggestion, indication, sign, allusion, whisper, trace, misunderstanding, suggestion, or the name that could fit better, indeed will have a repercussion in the total linked chain, impacting the vulnerability context, shocks, trends, seasonability of the most weak in terms of human, financial, social, physical, or natural capitals or assets. Facing reality, stocks regulated the price since a big percentage of the coffees traded there or used as a leverage in direct or indirect negotiations, impacting components of the chain and making it, it weak. Today, it is also easy to understand that besides the influence of fundamentals and of course the derivative markets, the overproduction incorporated by five contributors of the world's coffee production detonates today's price reduction. These situations indeed affect the weak in terms of that percentage of production of the world's total origins which have no as huge volumes and therefore economies of scale to break even the production costs. Even though exceptional coffees and qualities of coffee come from our side. No more math has to be done to support my last words and determine that some origins are vulnerable to price and therefore a way distance of strengthening the supply chain due to this last and of course the many stakeholders involved in production, logistics, and commercialization. In fact, a lot of quick interactions work against adding long-term relations and partnerships or seen, seen in another way to add value to that chain. Even though some normal chain, coffee chains are as follow. Others trend to build segmented blocks in the supply chain, making relations and partnerships, but not as an integrated solution, meaning from the cradle to the cop. So in general terms, as a small the chain, the more possibilities of generation, generating vertical or horizontal integrations as a survival strategy, and the more easy to develop those relationships and partnerships for the sake of the traceability and the transparency of the business. Furthermore, the coffee supply chain becomes sustainable as soon as the stakeholders feel as part of the Source network mutually invest in the continuity of, their, of its partners to ensure their own survival and further development. Such an act corresponds to an economic rationality. 
specialty coffee turned into an option to determine quality and add value to coffees. Normally, the stock price is used as a base and a di differential was added up or is added upon the plus 80 quality. <clears throat> Nowadays, the differentials are also strengthened by other considerations such as country platform, sustainability, and certifications. From this point of view, it is imperative to demonstrate the MVR and, the market, and, and to the market this traceability and transparency in terms of monitoring it, verifying it, and registering it to validate and create confidence in the customer. Traceability that the customer could follow comes to play a big role in consciousness and price differentiation. Marketing did and does its job, making, for example, that one custom, customer country has increased as much as 20% in the consumption of specialty coffees in only 25 years. This creation of new qualities generates confidence and predilection on the customer perception of quality and their knowledge on the origins. Sounds good for the purpose of making a strong supply chain, but has been happening that differentials somehow are also being manipulated, given producer incentives per pound upon price crisis, pulling down the differential market to also fulfill selling their overproduction and of course affecting other small producing origins, including Costa Rica and the other Central American countries. Producers are willing to keep producing high quality, but without economical means to recover from the coffee leaf rust. Definitely, this is ironic. Many companies, roasters, have been shortening the chain and reducing production risks from the producer by incorporating into their corporate social responsibilities the sustainable throughput the coffee chain. By improving direct relations with farmers, awarding their efforts and sustainability with special prizes on a direct buying system. Please remark my words. I'm not telling, them, telling that mainstream coffees are not a way of business, since in fact they supply a segment of the world's market. But they lack and is a more difficult way to strengthen fully integrated partnerships and relations from the cradle to the cup. So, even we can see that specialty coffee segment has been doing its part and keeps doing it, on a general basis, it is not an easy work to strengthen the supply chain in terms of a balanced, economical, sustainable demand and offer requirements link. As I said before, it is a resource network where mutualism within members must be parallel to the investments that guarantee the continuity and ensure survival and further development. Such an act corresponds to the economic rationality of all the parts. No raw material, no specific qualities, the chain breaks. And of course, it breaks everybody depending on what chain is affected in their livelihoods. Hunting quality, histories, win-win situations, sustainable livelihoods. Nevertheless, there is a quote from Steve Jobs that tells us that simplicity is the ultimate of sophistication. And the simplicity of the new coffee waves give us some important lessons that some could be, or some could be seen as a topic from the total production of the world. But they are working very good on a niche 
very creating value and most of high-end coffees for the consumer. A direct business is a proven way to shorten the supply chain, but more to create those relations and partnerships let out some characteristics. One important, it's education, coffee culture, best agronomical practices for sure are a synonym of quality, cost reduction, soil nutrient preservation, environmentally friendly, upon many others, but the most important is to develop quality and a history differentiated prices that impact positively the producer in terms of livelihoods and the consumer in terms of enjoyment. Coffee quality. Even though quality is subjective, we do have at least a way of categorizing it. But the most important part of coffee quality is to preserve the quality in every process during the chain. By this I mean that a particular lot could easily be treated very good preserving its quality, but when it arrives to a roaster, some considerations in the roasting curve, for example, were not made and the quality vanishes. Mutualism, transparency and traceability, the big tag in every coffee. Win-win situations. For Café de Costa Rica, throughout 205 years in the business, big political, environmental, social, health, and many others from which we'll have the opportunity to address tomorrow uh, at this same time, makes an added value to the geographical indication. But as, but as a brief, the country platform granted a livelihood that could be seen as economical, in, that you could be seen as economical indicators in World Bank, United Nations, and many others. Enhance organoleptic characteristics, brewing methods. After having the perfect growth curve, all innovation for attracting customers, relation with organoleptic characteristics are absolutely valid. By doing this, the consumer is also thought of quality and volatile, volatile present in the coffee that a standard method could not enhance. Definitely a new way of drinking coffee and promoting interest with pleasurable results. Baristas, I guess that we have a couple of baristas here. Origins, varietals, terroir, altitude, chlorogenic acids, total soluble solids, lipids, crema, volatiles, beverages, recipes. Let me say that baristas are for sure the last and the first line. The last, since they have the responsibility of carrying, delivering, and honoring all the quality preservation throughout the chain. But the most important, from my point of view, the coffee, uh, from my point of view, from where the coffee business begin, the plant and the producer. And the first line, in terms of education, coffee culture, due to their contact with the customers. So as a customer, you should ask for quality, added value in that coffee, transparency, real and measurable sustainability, and please enjoy it. It's not a cost is an investment on sustainability. Awareness, consciousness, and enrollment. Coffee business could not run without the raw material or the consumption. In perspective, it's like trying to make kimchi without it, even though you have the best of the recipes. As you could concede with me, coffee business is so lovable that 
even promotes other important actions of communications, media, knowledge, sharing seminars or forums like this, and of course social media has been putting together what happens in the chain, throughout the chain, given the chance to be aware. Let's change the perception. We must not think about solidarity. We should think about sustainable scoping the business, promoting five capitals of or assets, the physical, the social, the natural, the human, and of course the financial of the producer and every component or stakeholder throughout the chain. Sustainable coffee farming as the best way to reduce incidence of pests and diseases, cost reductions, best physiological preparation of the plant to produce the best quality and yield, shortening links as a way to develop a strong loop within parties in the chain and shortening the high-end coffees from intermediary profits. Conviction. Let me tell you all a story. During the 19th century and part of the 20th, a long row of 7,500 ox carts made a serpentine from San Jose to the port of Punta Arenas, four to five times per crop. This adventure in which the fuel for the oxen was easy to find, take two, eight days to get to the port and eight to get back home. This in fact is amazing since today it will take only 90 kilometers or to, take, or to make it in comparable walking will take a total of 15 hours, but not eight days. Nevertheless, the big lesson is to make things happen, to have a partner to support you to keep the line and finish the job, to know that today I could need help, but it is business. Tomorrow, you are the one that could need it and last but not least, the conviction let us, or let, let's, let us move through production of any road to fulfill the goal of bringing livelihoods to the people and origin that depends on coffee. As coffee that matures, matures through time, we also have developed strategies of differentiating qualities and supporting structures and processes that positively impact the livelihood of the producers and the people throughout the coffee chain. We could not treat high-end coffees as mainstream. Mainstream satisfy massive drinking and of course depends on economies of scale in the origin to be profitable for the producer. Shortening the supply chain, especially for, for high-end quality coffees, gives more chance to build capacity of relations and partnerships. Fulfilling the compromise of transparent sustainability of the business. Origins are called to preserve the sustainability to detonate a positive impact on the social, economical, and environmental interaction. For sure, we as customers are also called to develop the need of, of transparency, traceability, sustainability of the cup, and of course, but not least, the quality of that. Thank you very much.